Hello, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to walk you through an issue that I recently had using the slide bar menu and how to fix it. So on here I've got this uh, blog menu item and it comes to a blog page here. And then I can go back to my home page here. Um, so let's get into the design here and I'll show you the issue that I was having. Um, but first, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get notified of upcoming videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. So here I've got a slide menu and on it I've got blog. Um, what was happening is when I was setting up the workflow right here and it was going to a blog page it was looking for data to send and the reason why it was looking for data to send and I'm just going to jump over to the blog page is because on this page I've got it as type of content is blog and the reason why I have it set up as blog is because well the content on this page is going to be blog content and in my data structure just jump over here I've got um, a blog data type and reason for that is um, I want to be able to send links out to users via email or however um, from other blog posts and I want to have the the blog link embedded in here so people can come to this page they don't have to be registered users and they can have access to the blog content so that's why I have this page set up as as blog the issue is that coming back to the index page here when I go through this workflow again go to go to my blog page here it's looking for data to send so if I delete that it's going to be looking for data to send um, it's looking for blog content now the way to get around that and I'll actually show you two different ways this first way is using a custom state and it's really just a placeholder I'm not really sending anything of, of real value from this from the index page here uh, but what I've done is I've created this custom state so if you click the I here and I've got this custom state blog of type blog so let me quickly show you how to do that add custom state and I'll call it test and I'll just so I had that set up as blog but I've got other data types here let's call it auction like that so now I've got test as a auction data type so that's how I set up the blog here for this custom state and all I had to do was go in here and I'll just delete it so index and then blog and that solved that problem so now when I click on that menu item here for blog it's gonna be it's already set up for a blog data type and it'll go to that page no issue that's one way to set this up I'll show you another way and this way here I did it with um, a, a search and so basically all I did here was just searching for blogs and then first item so for this one here it's simply do a search for blog didn't have any constraints just left it as is and then first item and that is it so this is a trick a workaround if you will um, to send data for to a to a page that has a data type so again in this this example here I've got it as uh, blog data type in your app you might have it as could be real estate it could be vehicles um, it could be any sort of data type uh, but by doing this setting up the workflow this way with either the custom state um, or with the search you can go and uh, work around uh, bubbles I won't say limitation but bubble is looking for the a type of data to send and this is a way to send that data because on this page here I'm not this is doesn't even have a type of content set up it could be user for instance 
the issue is that uh, Bubble is looking, is expecting uh, data to be sent, and I don't have any blog data type on this page to send to the blog page. So hopefully that made some sense. And um, again, this is this is a workaround. Typically, you see all these other calendar items on here. I'll just kind of jump into a couple of other examples. These here, it's current user data, current user data. So for most of these, I'm just sending current user data, which is fine. Uh, but there is um, the use case where you're going to need to send different type of data to a page. And so this video shows you the way to work around doing that, either with a search um, or, again, with a custom state. So hopefully this um, helps. Uh, give me a thumbs up again if you like this video, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.